we're going to do a plum blossom with color. First, we'll start from the branch. The trunk kind of dry. So make sure the water is clean without ink, a dirty color in it. And the brush uh, is clean also. And uh, make sure the bottom of the brush has no ink in it. Usually I separate the color brush and the ink brush. So I load the brush with uh, water and then dilute the Chinese white, watercolor white. And uh, then I touch a little bit Arizona crimson in watercolor to get a light pink. And then a little bit Chinese uh, watercolor rouge color. It's like a lipstick color, kind of dark bluish. Very nice, traditional Chinese color. Five petals per flower, but with perspective, sometimes just three. The buds also are uh, very important in just one dot, you know. I'll keep going until the brush exhausted. I got a nature uh, gradation from the dark to light. Some flowers behind. And then reload the brush same manner. My student always try to paint the petals uh, very round. Don't do that. Um, it's actually a little square, but let it bleed uh, a blur a little bit, soften the edges so you don't need to do this round movement, you know, not circling movement, but just uh, a side, st side stroke, you know, with the brush hold at a uh, slanting position. Just, you know, so sometimes one side is darker, the tip side is darker than the other side, which is perfect. Um, Like I said, the plum blossom is not like a cherry blossom, so you, you do it just uh, spicily with more butt in it on the, on the branch. Symbolize the beginning of uh, spring. Now I load again with the combination brush. Um, I load it with pure rouge color to do the stem. So now the flower are attached to the branch, not just flying in the in the sky. I would uh, either use the same color for the stamen and pollens, uh, or I can use more um, detailed styles. So I will use some, uh, I can use kind of a brownish green to do the stamen. So I add some yellow in the, to it, so make it a little. I'll do a little circle in the middle of the flower.
Now I mix yellow and uh, white to get opaque yellow or white with a little yellow tone and then dot the pollings in a rhythmic movement, not one on top of each stem, but uh, very, uh, you know, you vary the size and the distance, density, something like that. Okay. Again, this is a uh, time to sign uh, or write a polygraph, polyg uh, poetry, uh, poetic uh, inscription. Sent you a branch of spring. And then lastly, the name Chop. which completes the picture. <laughs>